Good day, natural life, natural science life, uh, natural, uh, natural science students. Uh, today, grade nine, we are going to talk about electricity. I just want to quickly look with, uh, work with you some questions that are technically for term three. And, uh, let's just look forward and check them together until they are done. Uh, we need to understand the difference between a battery and a cell. Example of resistors that will convert electrical energy to kinetic energy are uh, factors that influence the resistor, uh, the resistance of resistors in a circuit, and also what is a real start. So now we just want to quickly answer those questions where we are given uh, three identical cells. We are given three identical cells here. We have got cell one, we have got two, we have got three. So we are given three identical cells here that are given. So what is asked here is that, I mean, what we need to understand is that we have got uh, a resistor, we have got a real study that are also shown in the what? In the, in the diagram that we are given in this regard. The first question that we need to quickly answer is what is the function of, of cells in a circuit? What is the function of cells in a security? Uh, cells, what are the fun, what is the function of cells in a security? So cells basically are used as a source of energy for the security. Cells, one, we are saying function of cells in a security, uh, it is used, uh, as a source of energy. Is a source of energy. In the circuit, it is used as a source of energy in the circuit. That is what, uh, the uh, the function of cells. They are used as a source of energy in the circuit. That is the function of a cell in a circuit. And then explain the difference between cell between a cell and a battery. What is the difference between a cell and a battery? A cell is a unit, uh, is a single unit that provides energy to a sec, uh, to a, to the circuit. A cell, the difference between, the difference between a cell and a battery. So we are saying a cell, a cell basically, uh, is a single unit, is a single unit. It is a single unit uh, that provides energy to the circuit. That provides uh, energy in a circuit. So what about a battery? Well, a battery Oh, a battery, a battery basically, um, a battery, uh, is a number of cells that are connected together. A battery is a number of cells connected together. A battery is a number of cells connected together. A cell is a single unit. That is one thing that you should understand in class. A cell is a single unit, but a battery is actually, uh, is, is a, is a number of cells that are connected together. That's one thing that we need to understand today. And then give an example of resistor. Give an example of resistor that will convert electrical energy to kinetic energy, a resistor that can convert electrical energy into kinetic energy. So an electrical motor can be an example. Uh, an electrical motor can be an example that we can give there. I'm saying uh, we can just give uh, an example of uh, an electrical motor an electric motor an electric motor 
can be just a good example that we can give or any appliance that uh, that contains a motor uh, or any appliance where electricity uh, which causes electricity movement uh, it can be an appliance that contains a motor or also any appliance uh, where electricity causes movement we can also talk about that in appliance where electricity causes movement any appliance where electricity uh, causes movement can also be a good example in that case and then uh, next question is saying name four factors that could influence the resistor the resistance of resistor four factors that can influence the, res the resistance of a resistor in a circuit i'm sure i remember that resistors they are uh, they are supposed to be there in a circuit and then what are the factors that causes that influence the resistor one one of the factors we can say type of the material type of material type of material we say that uh, type of material diff, uh, different conducting materials have different what they have got different resistance to electricity different uh, different uh, conducting materials different conducting materials they have a different uh, resistance to an electric current if different uh, resistance to electric current you have different resistance different resistance to electric current to electric current that is one other factor that we can talk about we can talk about uh, also another factor that can also cause thickness of the conductor thickness of the conductor is number two thickness of of the conductor thickness of the conductor i'm sure i remember that we talked about that uh, thinner wires have more resistance than what than uh, than thick wires thinner wires have got more resistance than uh, uh than, than thicker wires and then length of the conductor length of the conductor is number three length of the conductor length of the conductor also we're saying long longer wires have more resistance than what than shorter wires longer wires have got long i uh, have got uh longer wires they have got longer wires they have got more resistance than shorter wires and then temperature of the conductor temperature of the conductor temperature of the conductor which we also need to understand is that uh, generally water conductors are uh, like metals they have got higher resistance than cooler or colder conductors uh, water conductors have got higher, higher resistance uh, than cooler or colder conductors that is what we are talking about and then the last question is saying uh, what is a, a, a real state this Number five, uh, we mean a resistor of which the resistance of what the resistance can be adjusted uh, to different values. A resistor it is a resistor <coughs> of which 
de resistencia. Uh, can be adjusted, can be adjusted, it can be adjusted uh, to different values. That is what you mean by a real, uh, a real state. A resistor of which the resistance can be adjusted to different values. That's what we mean by number five. So basically, I just wanted to give you uh, some other typical questions or practical questions that you can as well meet and find under electricity, under resistance, under uh, batteries and cells resistors. So Thank you very much for your time and uh, all the best in uh, every exam that we are to write. Keep connected. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and everything. So then we grow our channel. Keep connected. Thank you very much.